Since the Perseverance rover landed on Mars in February 2021, many discoveries have been made about the planet. First, there was the discovery of deep craters on Mars that contained water. Second, the rover has discovered that the upper layers of the red planet are probably similar to the layered structures that the Earth has. This suggests that the region once contained a large lake, and that the sediments accumulated in the lake bed were not redeposited from the wind, but instead came from the lake itself. Hey there guys, and welcome back to our channel Mars Discovery. In today's video, we will look at the insane new discovery by the Perseverance rover. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more Mars-related content. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. The most interesting is the discovery of two channels going down into Yezero Crater, which could be linked to features seen in the most recent high-resolution images of the region with frame-by-frame -frame analysis. This discovery is important because it shows that water can flow in these channels. Scientists have long suspected that volcanoes exist on Mars. After all, the planet is far too cold and dry to support life as we know it. But Rover's most insane new discovery is about signs of volcanic lava that once flowed at the site of an ancient lake on the planet. The discovery of volcanic lava on Mars is a major find that could help scientists understand how the planet formed. It also suggests that the flow of lava has been intermittent, a possible indicator of the presence of water in the planet's past. Perseverance's rover's latest findings suggest that the bedrock it has been driving over since landing was once formed by volcanic lava flows. However, that was completely unexpected according to NASA scientists. Previously, they thought the layered rocks of Perseverance took photos of were sedimentary. The rock that Rover has sampled so far revealed that they interacted with water multiple times. And some of them include organic molecules. These discoveries could help scientists create an accurate timeline for the events that have taken place in Yezero Crater, the site of an ancient lake, and wider implications for understanding Mars. Rovers have been exploring Mars for decades to learn more about the planet and the possibility of finding signs of life. The mission is to help scientists learn more about how the planet was once habitable and will expand our knowledge of the surface of Mars. The Perseverance rover is going to continue the mission, but on a much larger scale. It will explore both the surface and the depths of the planet on its mission. It will also study geology, climate, and other aspects of Mars. One of the first questions scientists asked after the Perseverance rover landed on Mars was whether the rock in this location was a sedimentary rock composed of layers of material deposited by an ancient river or an igneous rock, which forms when lava flows cool. Scientists thought it was a sedimentary rock, but it became clear that it was a volcanic rock. This is an example of what scientists can learn about an area's geological history by looking at different rocks and how they're different from each other. The rover used its instruments to study a rock nicknamed Brock by the team. The analysis revealed large olivine crystals surrounded by pyroxene crystals, both of which pointed to the fact that the rock came from volcanic lava flows. The rock was then altered by water several times, making it a treasure trove that will allow future scientists to date events in Yezero Crater, to better understand the period in which water was more common on its surface and reveal the early history of the planet. Olivine is a magnesium iron silicate mineral that is a primary component of Earth's upper mantle. It is named olivine for its typical olive color that may also appear reddish to the oxidation of iron. Ken Farley, the Perseverance Project scientist at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, California said in a statement, I was beginning to despair we would never find the answer. Everything changed when Perseverance began using a drill on the end of its robotic arm to scrape away at the surface of rocks. The rover used a suite of instruments to measure the environment for signs of past life and to characterize the composition of the atmosphere and the surface of Mars. Although operations have mostly been smooth, some minor glitches have occurred, besides the initial failed attempt to collect a rock core. In December, some pebbles fell out during a coring attempt and jammed some of the mechanisms in the rover's sampling equipment. Engineers eventually got Perseverance to shake the pebbles loose to fix the problem. 
Now the team wants to know if a cooling lake of lava formed the rocks containing olivine, or if they originated from a subsurface chamber of lava that was later exposed due to erosion. Farley further added, This was completely unexpected and we are struggling to understand what it means. But I will speculate that this is not likely the original crater floor. From the diameter of this crater, we expect the original crater floor is significantly deeper than where we are right now. Every few weeks, scientists make a discovery that shows the red planet is still hiding something extraordinary. When the rover named Curiosity was launched to Mars, the world held its breath. Would the mission succeed? Would the rover be able to survive on the red planet's harsh surface? Would it be able to gather any meaningful data? One of the most surprising discoveries so far has been made by the Perseverance rover, which has already begun exploring the terrain. The Perseverance rover has found a different kind of rock, dark red with veiny streaks, which scientists named volcanic rock. Volcanic rock is dark because it's been exposed to heat for a long time, making it a good source of ancient minerals. Scientists are excited to study this rock to learn more about the old environment on Mars. The discovery was a moment of pride for the scientists and engineers who built the Perseverance rover. The team examined mosaics of images from the rover's microscopic images and noticed rocks with an unusual texture. The team then consulted an online library with pictures of rocks on Earth and came across some volcanic rocks with textures that looked remarkably similar to those found on Mars. Once back on Earth, these latest samples could help the team establish more accurate dates for features and events on Mars. These rocks interacted with water over time to create new minerals. The minerals within the samples can reveal what the climate was like and even the compositions of the water billions of years ago on the Red Planet. This will tighten our understanding of the history of not only touchdown location but of Mars generally. Science team member Brian E. Horgan from Purdue University said that this identification represents a really, really big deal. Kelsey Moore, geobiologist associate in planetary science at the California Institute of Technology said, That will tell us whether or not the water that existed there was potentially habitable in the past. Scientists are willing to explore more sites on the red planet, as is seen in high-resolution images released by NASA. Each of the new pictures shows a different area on Mars, with dramatic scenery in some shots and close-up views of the rover's targets in others. The most detailed view is of a spectacular canyon, now called Hata, located in a cratered region near the equator. We are excited to see what Perseverance will find there. So far, Perseverance has collected four rock samples with plans to collect up to 37 more. These samples will be returned to Earth by future missions which will enable them to be studied in great detail. Samples from Yezero Crater and its river delta could end the debate of if life existed on Mars. So, with that, our video has come to an end here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Mars Discovery, and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.